Greetings, suns and moons, and of course I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, you know what to do, all right? Those that have recently subscribed, I appreciate you. Thank you for the donations, the bookings. I am not taking uh, bookings right now. However, you can reach at, uh, <laughs> excuse me, uh, blah, blah, blah. You can reach me at oracleoftheether at gmail.com and only at oracleoftheether at gmail.com. Do not be solicited by anyone in the comments uh, telling you you can get your lover back with five ninety nine and all of that good stuff, okay? You have to reach out to me for the reading. Um, I will be opening it up shortly. Right now I'm on the break, okay? So keep that in mind when you reach out. All right, so this reading may apply to all signs, sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, Mars, Mercury, Venus, wherever, whatever comes out. Okay, ooh, cha. Little sneaky Superman been popping around here, just, just, just popping, just. Ooh. All right, again, this may or may not apply to you. This could apply to someone in your environment, someone thinking of you, you're thinking of them. This could be a boss, a co-worker, an ex, <clears throat> a lover, a child, okay? A grandparent, okay? Mother, father. So let's get some signs. Oh, all right. So out the gate, we have Gemini's. Gemini's in the building. We're coming up out of Gemini season. Happy solar return to all the cancer, cancer gang gang. Okay, so I feel like with this energy, since this is a um, collective reading, what I do feel like is these are soul contracts that were built on shallow foundations being exposed. Okay, all the trickery. Now you got to keep in mind a soulmate can be a person, place, or a thing. It doesn't necessarily have to be someone that uh, is supposed to be in our life forever. They come to teach us lessons, all right? And a lot of times these soulmates, <laughs> I heard regurgitate, they can reincarnate, okay? They can reincarnate in our lives through different peoples. It works as an energy, right? We got to realize that we are dealing with energy when we deal with tarot. At least some some readers if they don't know they should know okay so this is an aggressive energy we got capricorn representing uh stability representing what's tangible the things we can touch taste and feel okay yeah. somebody's dedicated what dedicated to what what are you dedicated to something that's toxic that's making you question yourself with this mars energy i see i see i see i spy with my little eye you know, um, oh, somebody could be dealing with the Aries or Scorpio, but, you know, somebody could be having a mental, I heard mental breakdown, but in some sort of mental conflict because things are coming out. People are being exposed, right? Those people that were doing things in the dark, thinking no one ever know, they're finding themselves caught up, okay? I'm, I'm getting in the mouse, mouse trap, okay? So now you might get offended, but, you know, I was told to entitle this reading the whole facts. That's what I said. The whole facts. You got to get your whole facts. Okay? You have to realize in this 3D world that everything is not what it appears. And if you feel froggy in my comments by leaving stuff like when the reading going to start, you're going to be blocked. Because I don't have time for your foolishness. Okay? These messages are important. My stars know. Okay? My stars know everything. I don't you think I'm just getting on this camera wasting my time when I could be doing something else. You know what I'm saying? That's what people don't realize. Like, y'all got to fall back. Like for real. Like for real. Am I what was that plies? Some plies. I felt that like plies. Somebody listen to some busted baby. <laughs> Oh, man, those that can appreciate some good humor. I love y'all. Y'all make my day. Ah, show me what I need to see. What's blocking this collector from moving forward? Show me. Mm. <laughs> this damn, these damn soulmates. <laughs> these lower level soulmates. Ah, the Fugazi I heard. The blind leading the blind. You know what I'm saying? Those that was refusing to take that leap of faith out of materialism, hoism fraud 
You know what I'm saying? It's all kind of various things. You know what I'm saying? I heard it's, it's, it's many ways to to die. Choose one. Somebody is re really vicious today. Oh, I didn't even see this Scorpio energy. No wonder. Okay, so this is as a life or death issue. This is somebody having a power struggle. This is some, I heard dichotomy. Now, what the hell? Okay, so this is transformation and this is healing. So somebody could be doing through some, going through some, uh, I heard dirt night of the soul with that Mars energy. Okay. So this is somebody that was mentally conflicted. Okay. This person could also be an alchemist with this, uh, eighth house energy, Scorpio energy. All right. We're talking about joint finances. This could be partnerships and marriage. Okay. These, this is secret affairs. Also, these is endings and beginnings. This is life. This is death. You know what I'm saying? This is also talking about taxes. So if you had any sort of some any form of karma coming to you, more than likely it will be coming out now. Okay, um, especially if you just been in that real toxic, low vibrational energy that a lot of a lot of those uh, karmic people were in. Yeah, with that Pluto, that Pluto energy. So we got death and a resurrection. Okay, I'm getting death of the ego. So, look, look what's at the bottom. We got the entanglement energy with Mercury. Okay, so I'm getting very much Aries energy, okay? Mental ma manipulation. So, things are being exposed about mental manipulation. Okay, so I'm looking. It says Mercury's in Gemini. So, interesting, right? We've seen that. Okay. So, uh, spiritual manipulation is coming to the forefront. Okay, right. spiritual manipulation is coming through to the forefront. It's about diplomacy. Nobody thought that fairness would ever rule. Go figure. And, you know, we live in an economy, economy where narcs, narcs rule the world. So people thought, you know, you had to be cutthroat, savage, just to, you know, step on somebody's throat, set them up, insurance, kings, you know, um, murders, all that type of stuff. You know, you know, just, just real nasty things coming out. You know what I'm saying? That's this energy right here. That eighth house energy. Right, right. Joint finances, taxes, life, death, partnerships, marriages, <sighs> people running and hiding, not wanting to face their consequences, being uh, affected by their, uh, their their finances being affected by the karma with the twelve house energy, Piscean energy. Okay. This is about secret enemies, hidden enemies, friends you thought you was your friends coming out, finding out that they ain't your friends, finding out family members are sleeping with your, your, your mates and your children's parents and all sorts of things are crazy like that with that cancer energy. Cancer, the mother of the zodiac. Yes, you could be dealing with the cancer. Yes, you could be dealing with the Pisces. And yes, you could be dealing with the Capricorn with this 10th house energy. But let me just say this. This is about... This is definitely about, let me, um, it's a commercial, that's weird, that really never really happens, okay? But this is about using your intuition, okay? About the matriarch, uh, a Republican re recall, ain't that something? They know they need to stop that. Oh, that's a message for somebody, right? Eighth house. Secrets coming out, <laughs> child. Capricorn energy, being responsible to the matriarch. Things coming out about the matriarch. We have Aries in the building, your willpower. What did I tell you about mental manipulation? Aries rules the head. Leo is the heart. So we're talking about affairs of the heart for some of you, new beginnings, the way people see you, the way people view others, lies, deception. What? Where is this collective at presently? Show me. But yeah, Saturn, karma, in a karmic cycle, in a karmic loop. Uh, you know, those people that have just been forcing people's will and feel like they can, they're receiving karma. 
Deception. I'm covered. Is you covered? People still trying to wear those false masks. I told you running, scary and trying to destroy information, trying to mask things with this Aries energy. The first house. The head. Trying to ma manipulate people. Gaslighting, I'm hearing. Okay. Because Aries is the emperor as, as well. Okay. A third authority, power, uh, power figures, Gemini, Virgo, Mercury energy, the awareness of mask, deception, the awareness of what is hidden. So people is trying to really uh, cover themselves up right now, you know, and there's people using magic to do so. There's also people finding out about magic. It's like people's not realizing just how big this is I'm getting, okay, with this Mars energy. Let's see, uh, let me see if I can get where Mars is at, okay? So, okay, currently Mars is in Leo. Come on now. All right, that's that mental conflict, conflict between the head and the heart. This is somebody that's experienced, yeah. This is somebody that has experienced with the chart. They could work with uh, astrologists, okay? This is about somebody taking responsibility of their actions, so the things that they created, the things that they manifested, but that Mercury energy, Thoth energy, magician energy, what's blocking this collective from moving forward? I appreciate those that appreciate me. Do not duplicate my work. Do not copy my work and put it in on other platform. All my work is covered, okay? Now, when I say that, I mean it. What's blocking this co this this collective from moving forward? Show me. Leo, pride, ego. Okay, again, people trying to mass. Okay, this is collective. This is organizations with the eleventh house. Mhm. Mm this is associations. These is blow boy clubs. Okay, these are people masking themselves to be one way and they really are another pride, ego. These I heard sellouts. I heard <laughs> damn shit. This is about sellouts, leadership. These is people, public figures for some of you. It could be Aquarius, Aries, Scorpio, with Leo, or any other sign that I mentioned before. This is people in uh, communications. Okay, we got so much Gemini Virgo energy, that Mercury energy, that uh, manipulation of the mind, trickery, uh, ego death here, North Node, people moving forward after manipulation of the heart with the fifth house, learning how to love again, trusting yourself. Healing your inner child, right? With the seventh house, with these partnerships, right? Okay, so this is this is death to what no longer serves you. It's like people are still trying to hold on due to ego and pride. They're going to find themselves sitting on the dock of the bay. Oh, child, wasting time. Okay, because, you know, one way, you're going to get that debt paid. Okay, so it's like... <clears throat> These are people that are working against light workers that have uh, affected other people's lives, right? And they don't realize how much these individuals, these, uh, I'm hearing musicians, these politicians for some, okay? These light workers, doctors, uh, were to impact other people's lives, okay? And so it's, it has to come out. So this is the year of it coming out. So just people trying to mask it is only making it worse, okay? Potential, future, possible outcome, and influence. <sighs> we have the devil, right? And we have, again, Gemini. Hmm. Mercury and Gemini. So we have, uh, we have that Thoth energy, and segment. <laughs> and oh God. Oh. definitely we already seen the ego here. 
right and so this is what this is Saturn is here saying you need to relinquish control I'm hearing it I'm hearing it's written all over your face right okay so somebody could be dealing with the Capricorn or again or this this is heavy manipulation of the mind people are trying to still put on masks okay yeah Virgo manip <laughs> what is this look at this Gemini Virgo Virgo methods for healing power the analyzing trying to ponder trying to come up with it this this is five of swords energy i heard it okay R very clearly but the full-time job this is about public service workers these could be uh, about i heard ambulances i mean all food industries oh wow what is this oh, okay all right so Clarify this eighth house energy. Why is this eighth house? Self-discipline. Six. Okay. Harmony, balance, justice. I heard myot. Enlightenment. Creation. Okay, so enlightenment of of people that do not feel. Okay. This is about enlightenment about the future. So something coming to an end. Clarify this in light. Let me see what's at the bottom. A devotion to surfing. To, to serpents. Ooh. Devotion to serpents. What the? Oh, my God. Oh, wow. What is this? Okay, so I had to stop and make my child a syrup sandwich. He likes to just the weirdest things. But anyway, it's interesting that I stopped on the hive mind, okay? And what is this? This is 11, right? 9 and 2 equals 11. This is about consciousness. This is about stability. I do hear judgment as well with the hive mind. And I, I was um, channeling <laughs> the answer. Yeah, this is, um, oh, some somebody mentioned that in the comments, trickery of the mind, that hive mentality and alchemy, logic and reason, throwing people off balance, force of attraction. Okay, so I heard soul is being. So with the enlightenment here, tell me about this enlightenment. Can you tell me more about this enlightenment? Tell me what is this enlightenment about? The hive mind, okay? So, parallel. Okay, so with the parallel, so this is definitely being, what's done in the dark coming to light, okay? What's done in the dark coming to the light, people dealing with uh, entities, people that have this soulless entity attachment, this hive mentality. I'm hearing... Uh, Shark Tank and Group Think, okay, with the shaman, uh, the shamanic journey. So some of you may be finding out that you are healers with the whales, okay. I'm hearing orca, okay. So some of you have uh, really, like, you have some sort of futuristic. <laughs> I heard futuristic mission. I know that sounds crazy, but it, hey, okay. So some of some of you, you're finding out like like your true self has been masked for humanity's sake. This is interesting. Why is uh, immediately here for Aries? But it's Aries energy uh, where the collective at is at. Okay, so in the collective right now. The ether, spirit, your higher self, self is asking you to do it your own way, right? To get out of that group think uh, mentality, okay? To be a peacock, to let your feathers out, okay? Not to do it responsibly, okay? To shine your light, okay? So some of you are finding out some information about people that had masks in the past, people that perform alchemy on you. If this is not actual black magic, voodoo, hoodoo, curse, hex, this is false prophets. This is lies, deception, okay? For some of you, it's about pharmaceuticals, 
okay? Somebody could be pregnant as well, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This could be about alchemy being done to a divine feminine, okay? As well, I'm hitting, I'm here, I'm hitting. Yeah, delusion of control Some in the past, okay? So this is uh, someone coming to the awareness of mental manipulation from someone in the past, Okay, the dream time awakening again with the orca. So someone was I'm hearing someone was spiritually attacked and it 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 opened up that uh that orca energy, that killer whale energy. This is interesting. My son's starting to go crazy too. Yeah, the hive mind, yes. They opened up hold on.